Finish lah. So fast for what? Jeng, jeng, jeng. Ha, cute right this device. Okay, so small yet powerful. Ah, can pump up until 40 watt max. So today in this videos, I will tell you about the iSolo Air 2 lah. I just received not long ago lah. Okay, for this device, very very cute lah. Previously they got the iSolo as well, but that one is quite long already lah. Today we are talking about new device lah. Okay, actually, uh, comparison with the previous one actually is almost the same, but the specification a little bit changes lah. So uh, before I start these reviews, my name is Adrian Low. Ah, uh, welcome to Asian Vapors reviews in this videos is not suitable for underage and also non-smokers lah i'm not promoting i'm not selling i'm just doing reviews vape device is targeting for all those smokers that want to quit cigarette change to vaping for better health and also for the existing users lah okay so right now don't talk so many chicken cracker now let's just start these reviews right now So guys, very simple. The packaging is looks like this. I solo air and then the logo also very nice. It's like a leaf like this because it's a e-leaf ma. Ha. So they make it like a new logo, a leaf like this. La. Right here, as you can see, they're coming out with a new power black coils applied. Ah, top fill GT coils 1500 ma for the battery. And then right here, straight directly got the contents, key contents and also specification for you all. La. Okay, uh, the port capacity is 2 ml and then the fill hole diameter is 3.5 and then output voltage is 1 until 40 watt. So the charging current they are using 5V2A uh, is not a very very fast but it's okay better than 5V1A. So actually inside the packaging, of course you receive one of the device, example like this one device and then two OCC coils like this. You'll get the warranty card, the user manual. Last but not least, you'll get one type C USB cable which is they provide is a white color. So talking about the new GTL coils lah, very very nice you know they coming with this uh, gun metal color. You can see the design nice right orange and also gun metal color it's very good inside the packaging they provide two OCC coils lah uh, they coming with a GTL 0.8 and also GTL 1.2 ohm and then when you turn right here you can see the wattage for the uh, 0.8 you can pump from 12 until 18 watt and for the 1.2 ohm you can pump from 7 until 13 watt but for the max wattage for this device is 40 watt okay so right now let's just try to uh, insert the OCC coils into the atomizer you just put in like this okay just push in like this Oh, oh, I think it's already go inside. Talking about the airflow hole, as you can see right here, this dot right here, for the 1.2 ohm, actually it's more smaller a little bit uh, comparison with the 0 0.8 ohm. So let's just pump in the edges. As usual, it's a 2 ml for a lot of port device. Usually it's also 2 ml lah, uh, because they don't want to make the atomizer, uh, the cartridge too big and too small. Some they can go until more higher, like example 4.5 or 6 ml. But for this one, average lah, 2 ml. You just pop in like this, simple. So let's just take a look at this device okay for this device they are total five type of colors uh, they got the green black this is a green black and then this is an orange brown uh, they sent me orange brown and they still got black gray uh, right here is gray color right here is black color and another one is whole black and another one is quite nice as well uh, it's a yellow blue right here is yellow this is orange another one is yellow right here and then right here is blue color the design actually quite special it's not very simple and it's kind of simple as well everything looks heavy even though it's a small device like this for this device from the top until the bottom is 90 1.4 millimeter and from this section is 33.2 millimeter from this section right here is 27.6 millimeter battery capacity is 1500 milliamp it's not very high and then it's not very low as well at least you can use for per day lah uh, port capacity is 2 ml filling hole diameter for this one right here is 3.5 mm and the output wattage is from 1 until 40 watt net weight is 108 gram for this device as usual just now i told you the charging current is 5 v2a uh, using a type c at the bottom right here so at the bottom right here got three holes three venting holes for the battery and then two screws and right here got a fire button plus minus button located at this side right here plus minus button and right here it writes e-leaf nice uh, signature same as this side uh, i solo air 2 like this so how to adjust the airflow you just switch this down right here to adjust the airflow see Ah, same as the another side. Ah, same, same lah. Okay, the dial actually is also quite tight. It's very good. Ah, unlike some, you prop, 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 prop like this. Right here, right sample because it's not for sale lah. Ha, okay, it's just for review purpose. And then inside right here, ah, the ring is a stainless steel, and then got two pins right here, and then ah, it's a magnetic ah. See magnetic pop like this, and then it's compatible with the previous i solo as well. Ah, this cartridge. Ah, they make it like this so you can ah put at your the old old version you can put right here. This one you can 
can put right there so you press five times one two three four five to turn on this device the only cons that i don't like is uh the chipset is quite simple because actually this box mode is uh this device this port mode is quite small so they don't need to make it like a color screen like this lah. they just make it like a normal simple uh screen like this there is no color and then the lowest voltage let's just try to press until the low okay it's one watt and then you press again it cannot go up to the highest voltage so you press until the maximum voltage is 40 watts so in case if you take out this cartridge and then you put back when it detects okay it will best suggestion this is the things that i like it will suggest the best voltage for you all a uh, great job to elif okay but then it suggests you 15 watt at least you still can pump up until 40 watt max huh? it's just suggestion lah. so in case if you getting blur huh, sometimes you're not sure what voltage is suitable and then you lazy to take a look at this uh occ cost at the bottom right here 12 until 18 watt there's no problem you just directly pop it and then it will give you the best suggestion lah. 15 watt is between 12 until 18 lah. 15 lah. they give you the best voltage lah. Huh? very very accurate as well so very simple easy okay right now currently as you can see right here got six path uh. you press the plus button and the fire button four like this ah path uh reset okay everything reset okay and then if you want to flip the screen no problem as well some people they use it left hand or right hand okay you press this and press this like this it will flip the screen ah flip the screen but i don't like like this so i just flip it back uh, like this is more easier uh, more suitable for me so based on the size the structure everything looks perfect lah for me lah uh, easy to bring out lah even though you put inside your bag but honestly it's a little bit heavy eh. it really feels like a zinc alloy more than aluminium stainless steel i think it's more heavier i'm not sure definitely it's not an aluminium lah so right now the best voltage they suggest for the 0 0.8 ohm that i'm using is 15 watt so let's just try 15 watt okay fully wide open the airflow Team, no tell you all guys okay based on the airflow i like about the airflow the mouthpiece is also like a 510 size like this not very big you cannot take out the mouthpiece huh? what special is you refill just on top right here you don't need to take out the cartridge actually you just refill at the top right here and then huh, filling pot is located at the top easy Clouds actually we don't compare with another type of device like a high voltage lah, like a big OCC. For this one, the clouds is quite huge even though you're using 15 watt. And also the flavoring for the GTL uh, 0.8 for me there's no problem. Okay, that's great. I'm using the Cardinal Crystal flavor lemon lime. Oh so refreshing man okay the most important thing is for the device uh first thing we drip in the flavor some of the occ they cannot absorb the flavor so much maybe it's the mesh cost problem or maybe it's the cotton problem i got face facing a, a lot of issue about the some occ cost is uh very hard okay very uncomfortable even though the airflow is uncomfortable for this one the airflow is okay and then there's no delay when you press the fire button see so let's just try is it got a draw activation there is no draw activation there is a cons right there maybe they can try to design next time for the isolo air 3 got the draw activation so more easy for users this one you need to press the fire button i got saw a lot of uh company they coming out with the occ like this you need to push inside and then the structure they design it you still can draw activation that's quite special but it might take the cost more higher lah. ah so but this one average lah shock really shock okay so now let's just pump more higher voltage uh, because for this occ cost actually we can pump until uh 18 uh, no problem let's just pump for 20 watt now uh, okay let's just press uh 19 20 like this okay now let's just try press the fire button when you press the fire button you can see this second right here okay i think it's until 10 second lah uh, or 8 second lah uh. nobody gonna use until 8 or 10 second lah uh. it will cut out directly by itself 20 watt is good okay 20 watt is good and then currently as you can see right here it writes 0 0.8 ohm and then when you attach uh the ohm is 0 0.99 it's not 0 0.8 uh, but it's accurate as well in between 0 0.8 0 0.9 like this one ohm actually it's okay lah so if you press three times one two three there's nothing happen you press this two button it will lock this device okay you cannot adjust the wattage okay but you still can fire now uh, you just lock the wattage only lah so if you directly want to switch off you just press five times as usual uh, one two three four five like this okay e leave is switch off directly okay one two three four five is switch on it switch back on uh, like this okay simple easy review for you all uh, for this q 
cute device lah really really thumbs up okay there are pros and cons for every device okay as i told you all but for this one uh the cons is you cannot draw activation and also the chipset actually is quite simple but it's okay lah ah uh, overall for the battery they cannot increase anymore because it's very tiny it's just a 1500 milliamp battery but you can use for one day lah confirm lah ha. unlike all those godzilla mouth lah so finish lah so fast for what Ah, vape device is for you all to after finish eating and then just relaxing and when you're driving car at time and you feel boring and you just take few puff and then just leave it if you're using like this uh, slowly you can definitely use it for two days three days or so no problem same like me okay less vape like this just tarik and then get the feel and then just stop it ah don't just keep puffing non-stop lah okay so that's all for these videos that i want to tell you about this device uh, about the elif i solo air 2 uh, i see you all at my next reviews again my name is adrian lo thanks for watching asian papers reviews arigato kamsamida